Following the compounds of nitrogen of group 5A of periodic table, we come to nitrides. Nitrides are compounds of nitrogen with a less electronegative atom. In other words, it's a compound with atoms that have a less full valence shell. These compounds form with lithium and group 2 metals. Nitrides usually has an oxidation state of minus 3 as in case of Mg3N2 magnesium nitride. When mixed with water, nitrogen will form ammonia and this nitride ion act as a very strong base. Then nitrogen reacts with water in this reaction to give ammonia and hydroxide. Now, when nitrogen forms with other compound, it primarily forms com covalent bonds. These are normally done with other metals and look like MN, M3N and M4N type of compounds. These compounds are typically hard, inert and have high melting points because nitrogen's ability to form triple covalent bonds. Ammonium ions. Nitrogen goes through fixation in plants by reaction with hydrogen gas over a catalyst. This process is used in to produce ammonia. As mentioned earlier, this process allows us to use nitrogen as a fertilizer because it breaks down the strong triple bond held by nitrogen. The famous Haber-Bosch process for synthesis of ammonia looks like this. Nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia. Ammonia is a base and is also used in typical acid-base reactions. Ammonia reacts with sulfuric acid and uh, nitride ions are very strong bases, especially in aqueous solutions. Now we come to oxides of nitrogen. Nitrides use a variety of different oxidation numbers from plus 1 to plus 5 for oxide compounds. Almost all the oxide that form a gases and exist at 25 degrees Celsius. Oxides of nitrogen are acidic and easily attach protons to form nitric acid. The oxides play a large role in living organisms. They can be useful yet dangerous. Dinitrogen monoxide N2O is anesthetic and nitrogen dioxide NO2 is also harmful. It binds with hemoglobin molecules, not allowing the molecules to release oxygen throughout the body and it is released from cars causing pollution. Nitrate is a polyatomic ion. More unstable nitrogen oxides allow for space travel. Now, hydrides of nitrogen. They include ammonia and hydrazine and 2H4. In aqueous solution, ammonia forms the ammonium ion which we described above and it has especially amphiprotic properties. Hydrazine is commonly used as a rocket fuel. Now we come to the applications of nitrogen. Nitrogen provides a blanketing for our atmosphere. As we have seen, it is the most abundant constituent of the atmosphere for the production of chemicals and electronic compartments. Nitrogen is used as a fertilizer in agriculture to promote growth of plants, pressurized gas for oil, refrigerant as a freezing well, food fast, then it is used as explosives, metals treatment, protectant, via exposure to nitrogen instead of oxygen. Now next element of this group 15 or 5th A group of the periodic table is phosphorus. After nitrogen we come to the chemistry of phosphorus. It is an essential part of life. Without phosphate in biological molecules such as ATP, ADP and DNA that is energy releasing processes we would not be alive. Phosphorus compounds can also be found in the minerals in our bones and teeth. It is a necessary part of our diet. It is quite reactive and this quality of the element phosphorus makes it an ideal ingredient for matches because it is so inflammable. Phosphorus is a vital element for plants and that is why we put phosphates in our fertilizers to help them maximize their growth. 
Now, phosphorus plays a big role in our existence. It can also be dangerous. When fertilizers containing phosphorus enter the water, it produces rapid algae growth. This can lead to eutrophication of lakes and rivers. That is, the ecosystem has an increase of chemical nutrients and this can lead to negative environmental effects. With all the excess phosphorus, plants grow rapidly, then die, causing a lack of oxygen in the water and an overall reduction of water quality. It is necessary to remove excess phosphorus from our waste water. The process of removing the phosphorus is done chemically by reacting the phosphorus with compounds such as ferric chloride, ferric sulfate, aluminum sulfate or aluminum chlorohydrate. Phosphorus when combined with aluminum or iron becomes an insoluble salt. The solubility equilibrium of constants of FEPO4 and ALPO4 are 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 22 and 5.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 respectively. With solubilities this much low, the resulting precipitates can then be filtered out. Now examples of other dangers of phosphorus is in the production of matches. The flammable nature and cheap manufacturing of ice phosphorus made it possible to easily make matches around the turn of 20th century. However, white phosphorus is highly toxic. Many workers in match factories develop brain damage and disease called phosphorus necrosis of the jaw from exposure to toxic phosphorus vapors. Excess phosphorus accumulation caused their bone tissues to die and rot away. For this reason, we now used phosphorus or phosphorus sesquifolide. Allotropes of phosphorus. Phosphorus is a non-metal solid at room temperature and poor conductor of heat and electricity. Phosphorus occurs in at least 10 allotropic forms. The most common form is the white or that is called yellow phosphorus. It is very reactive and will spontaneously inflame in air so it is stored under Water. The other common form of phosphorus is red phosphorus, which is much less reactive and is one of the components on the striking surface of a matchbox. Red phosphorus can be converted to white phosphorus by careful heating. White phosphorus consists of P4 molecules, whereas the crystal structure of red phosphorus has a complicated network of bonding. White phosphorus has to be stored in water to prevent natural combustion, but red phosphorus is stable in air. When burned, red phosphorus also forms the same oxides as those obtained in the burning of white phosphorus. P4O6, when air supply is limited, and P4O10, when sufficient air is present. Diphosphorus P2 is the gaseous form of phosphorus that is thermodynamically stable about 1200 degrees centigrade and until 2000 degrees centigrade. It can be generated by heating white phosphorus to 1100 Kelvin and is very reactive with bond dissociation energy of 117 kilocalories per mole, half that of nitrogen and two molecule here in this figure it depicts the field figure of diphosphorus. Here we come to the structure of white phosphorus P4. White phosphorus has a tetrahedral structure we see in this figure. It is soft and waxy but insoluble in water. Its glow as a result of its vapor slowly being oxidized by the air. It is thermodynamically unstable that it combusts in air. It was once used in fireworks and the US military still use it. It is incendiary bombs. Now we come to the red phosphorus. It has more atoms linked together in a network than white phosphorus does which makes it much more stable. It is not quite as inflammable. But given enough energy it still reacts with water for this reason we now use red phosphorus in matchsticks as we see in this picture that is red phosphorus is used in safety matches violet phosphorus that is obtained from heating and crystallizing red phosphorus in a certain way the phosphorus forms pentagonal tubes in the structure we have given ahead. 
structure of violet phosphorus now black phosphorus that is a polymeric form it is the most stable form and atoms are linked together in the puckered sheets like graphite because of these structural similarities black phosphorus is also flaky like graphite and possesses other similar properties we have given the ball stick stick model of a sheet form of the phosphorus atoms in the black phosphorus now here we see the figure of pentagonal tube like structure of violet phosphorus that has been obtained by heating the red phosphorus and this is the ball stick model then we see the sheets of black phosphorus and in the ball and stick model these isotopes of phosphorus are many are only one of these is stable that is phosphorus 31 the rest of the isotopes are radioactive with generally very short half lives which vary between a few nanoseconds to a few seconds and two of the radioactive phosphorus isotopes have longer half lives 32 phosphorus it has a half life of 14 days and 33 phosphorus now their half lives are long enough to be useful for analysis then phosphorus 32 played an important role in the 1952 hershey chase experiment in this experiment alfred hershey and martha used radioactive isotopes of phosphorus and sulfur to determine that dna was genetic material and not proteins sulfur can be found in proteins but not dna and phosphorus can be found in dna but not proteins this made phosphorus and sulfur effective markers of dna and protein respectively the experiment was set up and then they allowed both samples to infect the bacteria they blended 35 sulfur and 32 phosphorus samples separately and centrifuged the two samples the genetic material penetrated the solid that contained the bacterial cell at the bottom of the tube and non genetic matter remained in the liquid thus by analyzing their radioactive markers they found that 32 phosphorus remained with the bacteria and 35 sulfur remained in the supernatant liquid these results were confirmed by further test involving the radioactive phosphorus only now how phosphorus is related to life we see that most elements from nature in the form of minerals are from phosphorus in nature phosphorus exists in the form of phosphates rocks containing phosphate are fluoroapatite chloroapatite and hydroxyapatite these minerals are very similar to the bones and teeth the arrangements of atoms and ions of bones and teeth are similar to those of phosphate containing rocks in fact when the hydroxide ions of teeth are replaced by fluoride the teeth resist decay this discovery led to a series of social and economical issues here we see the structure of these two hydroxyapatite and fluoroapatite in this figure fluoride ions f are replaced by hydroxyl groups to give hydroxyapatite to and fluoroapatite that is in the tooth enamel a portion of the apatite crystal lattice is depicted showing the replacement of hydroxide for the fluoride fluoride being big blue circles nitrogen phosphorus and potassium are key ingredients for plants and their contents are key in the fall form of fertilizers from an industrial and economical viewpoint phosphorus containing compounds are important commodities thus chemistry of phosphorus has academic commercial and industrial interest this is the isotopes and allotropes of phosphorus